are my partner in shenanigans, my best friend, and the love of my life. Today, surrounded by our favorite people and our loved ones, I reflect on our love and the incredible journey that we've shared over the last seven years. Jordan, I adore you most. What I adore most about you is your ability to find humor in yourself, your sense of humor, calmness, and knack for soothing me in stressful situations are as extraordinary. During the toughest times, when I felt overwhelmed by school or doubted my abilities, you were my guiding light, and I am forever grateful for your presence in my life. Your unwavering support and encouragement has meant the world to me. We're finally here and I'm so happy. I never imagined meeting you all those years ago and the way you changed my life. I can't thank you enough for your patience and the many literal and figurative kicks in the butt you've provided. We've made it through so much, like living five hours apart, losing family, the stress of school, moving, and we've come out the other side stronger than ever. I truly don't think there's anything we can't overcome together. I fell in love with you because of your beauty and your kindness. You have the kind of heart that wants to buy lunch for someone in need, or give away your hand warmers when someone's cold. Because of your smile, your sense of humor, and your laugh. Because you accept me for who I am and love me anyway. Because you love all creatures. And because that may or may not have led to us dangerously close to becoming animal hoarders. <laughs> and because you put up with me and my, my shenanigans, like cruddy old trucks that break down on the side of I-5 while pulling a trailer in August with two dogs and three kittens and then having to ride in a cab of a tow truck for three hours with the animals on our laps. True story. I want to marry you today so that we can continue our story, so that we can have a family and I can see you be the amazing mother I know you'll be, so that our partnership can grow stronger and our love deeper and so that you will continue to challenge me to be better and I can always do the same for you. I promise today to always love you. I know I'm imperfect and will make many mistakes, but I vow to be better every day. No matter what challenges we face, I promise to always support you and care for you. I give you this ring as a symbol of our vows. And with all that I have and all that I am, I honor you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, with this ring, I thee wed. Jordan, I give you this ring as a symbol of our vows. And with all that I am and all that I have, I honor you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, with the spring, I be one. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Jordan and Lindsay Barnhart. Listen to others who have wisdom, who've gone on this path ahead of you. Uh, and above all, put all your hope and faith in Jesus. May that be the foundation of your marriage. May the grace we are given each day be the same grace you show each other. Uh, I love you guys, and if I had a glass, I would raise it to uh, cheers. Lindsay and I were shaking like crazy, dangling from tall trees, zip lining. And this was a last minute thing that we swore we would never do. Jordan says, let's go zip lining. And Lindsay goes, yes. Like, and then she took my kids and I with her. And so I'm really happy that you have somebody that will do that with you now, both of you. They complement each other very well. So here's to a lifetime of adventure, happiness, love, many laughs, and possibly a zoo. Welcome to the family. <laughs> Got to know Jordan the last few years. Really glad they got married now. <laughs> but most of all, I love the fact that you guys love each other. I love the fact that you guys are together and you guys are making this forever. And I am so glad to call you my son-in-law, Jordan. You are a wonderful man. You treat my daughter wonderfully. And I cannot thank you enough for that. So we love you guys. May the Lord bless and protect you. May the Lord smile on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord show you his favor and give you his peace. I love you. Yeah.